Hi, I'm Sherry Damaris, and welcome to Macro Magic. And today I have with me Birgit Luters, who is an iridologist, a color puncturist, and an herbologist. So welcome, <laughs> <Thank> Birgit. <you. laughs> and we were just talking, you have amazing, amazing knowledge of not only reading the eyes, but also understanding color therapy as well as as well mm -hmm. as herbology. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to talk about color and sound, mm -hmm. um, some of the things that you probably won't, um, haven't heard of before, but will be really enlightened after the show to know about how you can get healed simply by color and by sound. Right. <laughs> so um, I brought the first slide for everybody to see the quote from Nikola Tesla, which is, if you wish to understand the universe, think of energy, frequency, and vibration. And this is really truly where I want to go into our talk today, because we are all vibration. We have sometimes bad vibration, good vibration, and the whole universe is pretty much made up with energy. Mm -hmm. So each energy vibrates in a different frequency. So there's the saying that the highest vibration of frequency would be light, and the second one would be water, right? And so I feel like when we talk about meditation and finding enlightenment, I feel like the higher our vibration gets, maybe the higher we get into the light vibration, which is the highest vibration. Wow. And they say when you pass away, you actually pass into the light. There we go. Yeah, Especially, and you can also see like light has been a fundamental uh, healing tool for thousands of years. And you can even find in the biblical information, let there be light. So sometimes we, as I mean, that's my own fault too, as a holistic therapist, we sometimes go and try to get really complicated and try to always figure out new methods and new ideas how to heal people. But when we really tone it back, light, is very healing. And they say in macrobiotics that brown rice, which is one of the most balanced grains, carries, captures sunlight. So when you eat it, you're actually eating sunshine. Right. So today I was like, when we were talking about coming and talking about color puncture in a little mm -hmm. bit, I wanted to just like pay attention to light again, because light is, is truly healing. And unfortunately, um, Dr. Ott was actually um, the person who created the uh, color spectrum bulb, the light bulb. And he said that we are all mall illuminated. And I love the word, since we're both also, food is our medicine. Mm -hmm. uh, we always talk about we are mall nourished. So now there's a new word, mall illuminated. And think of all, we just had Dr. Pepper on talking about um, tech stress and how standing in front of iPhones and, and computers yeah. is a different kind of light. It's not sunlight. So it's actually depleting us. Yeah. Um, and we need to be out in the sunlight as much as possible. They say during the pandemic, the best thing to do is to get out in the sunshine. Right. The Spanish flu, they put them all out on stretchers in the sun Absolutely. to help heal them. So yes, definitely sunlight is is powerful. Right, and unfortunately because um, skin cancer has more of a spike nowadays mm -hmm. with melanoma, people are getting afraid of getting into the sun, so we cover up our children with like suits mm -hmm. on, tilted the wrists and cut head and sunscreen and, and glasses and there is a certain way, yes, I don't agree we should be in the sunlight like between 12 and two o'clock to be cooked right. and burned. Mm -hmm. But the sunlight is important to get out in the morning between like nine and That's 11. That's the best time, they say, right? in the morning. Exactly, mm -hmm. because what really happens is, is when we get light into our eyes, it not only improves our vision, of course, but it actually also triggers our hypothalamus, mm -hmm. which is our endocrine system gland, and that one triggers the penile gland. And what the penile gland actually mm -hmm. does, it balances our sleep and wake cycle mm -hmm. and our seasonal circadian cycle. And that's why being on an airplane or looking at your eyes phone before you go to sleep disturbs your sleep. Exactly, and mm -hmm. that's why, have you ever been in a movie theater and you go in at like four o'clock, like I go with my daughter there and mm -hmm. we watch like some Disney movie mm -hmm. and it's like black dark, right? And mm -hmm. you come out and it's like, what, three o'clock <laughs> or five o'clock and the right. sun shines and you're like, oh my God. Uh -huh. You have this reaction of like, 
I thought it was evening. Yes. Have you ever had yes. this feeling? Yes. Or you feel drowsy when you come out of this room? Yes. And that's exactly what they found out in um, Austria. They found out that when people have severe, have severe um, um, alcoholism, right? They were trying to get them off and so to reduce the addiction symptoms. Hmm. Um, they put them out in extreme light therapy and they found out it reduces their anxiety, it improves the memory, the concentration. Wow. And all what we're talking so far is actually only about light, not even food, right? <laughs> and for microbiotic we know we can eat the energy from light, mm -hmm. right? Like you mentioned mm -hmm. with brown rice and all the green plants yes. wouldn't even be green, correct? Without the sun. Mm -hmm. It's the photosynthesizing, and mm -hmm. that's what we need to do. We need to eat our greens <laughs> to eat the light, mm -hmm. <laughs> and also to get the vitamin D uh, into our skin. Mm -hmm. Most people are vitamin D deficient, right? right? And how do you get vitamin D in? Most people think about supplements now, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But it's really, truly, we should just walk outside. It's interesting, dried shiitake mushrooms are one of the highest forms of vitamin D in macrobiotics, and they're actually, you know, shiitake that are capturing the sun um, and, and collecting it. And so when wow. you eat that, it, it gives you a lot of vitamin D. Um, I know you've studied water too and, and sound. Can mm -hmm. you tell us a little bit about that? So just like the light is healing, so it's also the sound healing, like the sound vibration. And we were, I was telling, uh, talking about Dr. Emoto. Mm -hmm. Dr. Emoto was a scientist. He found out that the vibration of sound actually changes the chemistry of the water molecules. And if you have never seen that, you can actually really Google it on YouTube and see those um, great paintings that the water creates if there was a pleasant or peaceful vibration. Mm -hmm. Like he uses the, um, the, the sound of like Chopin or some classical music mm -hmm. and then he froze the molecule and wanted to look what the pattern would look like and it looked like snowflakes. But when you took very heavy or very extreme negative music, then it looked more like scattered all over it, mm -hmm. more brownish the water. And so the reason why I'm mentioning that to your um, people watching the show is that we also talk negative to ourselves mm -hmm. in our mind. Mm -hmm. Right? So our mind vibrates that energy of like, oh, you're no good, or you're not pretty enough, or, you're not like capable doing things. Our self-talk vibrates our water, and we are 70% water. So in this case, how bad a vibration do we give ourselves by being, you know, negative to ourselves? That's amazing too, and you think of all the noise pollution. Like mm. if you're in a city and you're hearing trucks go by, and you know a lot of chaotic noise or heavy metal music, mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. the kids are listening to, and that's really shaking up the vibration as well. Absolutely. Inside. And that's why sound healing. What is a sound therapy now? Sound therapy is like meditation or the sound arm. Right? Mm -hmm. Isn't the sound arm coming from the... AUM actually vibrates and helps protect, protect you from the virus. So AH, which vibrates your lower chakras, and then U, which vibrates your heart, and um, your head. So just saying that chant over and over actually protects you um, and boosts your immune system. See, that's amazing. So if we just sit there for like five minutes mm -hmm. and make an om sound, uh -huh, uh -huh. we can actually truly heal ourselves. Mm -hmm. And this is why I wanted to talk about the simplicity sometimes we lose mm -hmm. as healers. Mm -hmm. So um, sound can also be um, the drumming, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And drum circle, sometimes a healing vibration for people who are part of it. They say that actually reg regulates, the American Indians use it a lot to regulate oh. your heartbeat. So that's a really yeah. nice energy and, to, to uh, tap And we into. forget that, right? Mm -hmm. we, we truly forget that. And But in the way I use it is uh, I go more into sound vibration of our brain waves. So the mm -hmm. brain has nerve cells and they all vibrate and they form brain wave patterns. And so those brain wave patterns are a combination of our emotions, feelings, moods, and biological chemistry. 
So if somebody is very um, nervous or hyped up, mm -hmm. then most likely they are in the beta brain waves mm -hmm. because that's the one we have right now because we're talking, we're thinking, we're having ideas. But sometimes people cannot fall asleep because they do not get out of the beta brain waves. Mm -hmm. And the first brain wave we have is when we slow down, we meditate mm -hmm. or we're relaxing or maybe we want to start napping. <laughs> All that <laughs> could be totally helpful. Um, that one is called the alpha brain wave and it's one of the most creative brain waves. So if you have ever done anything very creative, people say they get lost. They're focused, but very relaxed. Mm -hmm. And so when they measured that in our circulation in our brain, they found out that it was below 40 hertz. Mm -hmm. And that's when we go super creative. This is why like sometimes, you know, you want to try to write like an essay or something. And then sometimes it doesn't work, but then sometimes you cool down and you calm down and you're in the alpha brainwave, and then creativity is the best. Yeah, I've often wondered about that because a lot of um, people will say, well, I drink coffee for my creativity. Yeah. Well, coffee can boost up your energy, mm -hmm. I guess, and give you ideas, but they always said with coffee, it doesn't last a yeah. long time because you're still in the beta yeah, brainwave. Yeah. Exactly. There's also the saying that elite uh, athletic people are actually doing their performance in the alpha brainwave, which is the creative one, the calm one, and the focused one. And more amateur athletes, they are more in a beta brainwave, like, I gotta fight this, and they have all those thoughts in their heads. Wow, that's incredible. They always say you get into that zone, right? Mm -hmm. You get into the zone and you can become a great you know, basketball player yeah. and make all the baskets or yeah. run the fastest yeah. mile if you're in the zone. But yeah. people don't realize that the zone yeah. isn't reached by yeah. all this effort, energy, you know, tightness and things like that. I know, so that's why uh, insomnia, for example, is, uh, can have a lot of physical damage on the body because because at the end, after we fall asleep, the alpha brainwave leads us further into theta brainwaves. Mm -hmm. And the theta brainwaves is the one where we have vivid dreams and we feel connected to all what is. Mm -hmm. And we come more out of this physical experience and more into the spiritual experience. And that's why sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I always have to call my friends and tell them what dreams I had. <laughs> and then sometimes I go and Google what, what the meaning is. Like I was like, two days ago, I was just dreaming about petting lions. And I'm like, oh, what does that mean? <laughs> it's almost like I had like some kind of spiritual message. Symbol. Yes, I'm like, what does it mean? I wasn't chased from the lions. <laughs> so um, we're gonna come at, back after break and we're gonna talk to you more about your therapies, mm -hmm. how you work with the color and how you work with the light and. The sound um, to help people you know maybe sleep better yeah. or stop smoking and things yeah. like that awesome yes. thanks So, I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, and then she hides them in that basket by the door. You know, but it's always the same basket, and it's always in the, in the same place. And then she acts so surprised when I find them, but, you know, she's putting them in the same basket. Again. It's like, hello? That's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide-and-go-seek.
Hi, I'm Sherry Damaris, and I'm with Birgit Luders, and we're talking about color, sound, and light therapy. Birgit is an iridologist, a color puncturist, mm -hmm. and an herbologist. Um, and I know that we had some really great insights about color and light, and we want to move more towards like what are color you? Puncture, yeah. yeah, what what yeah. kind of treatments are you offering in terms of? color puncture? So uh, I have been invited once before in your show and we talked specifically about iridology. What iridology is all about is that we take a, a print from your eyes and we have a certain iridology map that's connected with the reflexes of each organ system. Mm -hmm. So now that I see the weakness and strength of each specific uh, organ, I thought like, well, what could I do besides food or herbs? to enhance that well-being of the person. So that's when I stumbled on uh, Peter Mandel's um, esogetic color puncture system. Mm -hmm. I've showed you here, that's a German naturopath and acupuncturist. Mm -hmm. And he came up with the same idea, like with acupuncture, we're only opening up the meridian path with the needles. Mm -hmm. But what if we take now the healing power of each color mm -hmm. and put it in as a message? into the meridian points. And this is where he came up with this whole system, it's called esogetics. And um, there's a funny story when a temple uh, kind of found that system, I found out that he was having his first class offered right around the corner where I was living in Vienna. <laughs> you know how you live sometimes? Synchronicity. Yeah, you live sometimes. <laughs> I have not known that there's a color puncture, you know, seminar or workshop for years. <laughs> and when I ask him, where's your training? And I'm like, I thought they'd tell me my own home address. <laughs> Synchronicity, right? Yes. <laughs> so he also created 2005, then a system, it's called the ophthalmolic genetic therapy, OGTs, and which was then a complete like total home run for me as an iridologist. So what he found out is the iridology has its own map uh, with the reflexes. He found out that we have shadow eyes. So he, he mapped out all the organ system above the eyes and called them shadow eyes. Mm. And so what that happens then is suddenly I could put some light into the points that I see for the iridology without so you, harming the, the eyes. eyes. Okay. Exactly. So that's why I wanted to bring that system with the next slide if you have that. I wanted to show it what that means now. This is a map, for example, from a German guy. And so iridology is all about bringing information out. Like I find out the genetic strength and weaknesses of the organ system, but now- It's like the diagnosis. Yes, so mm -hmm. now with OGTs uh, from Peter Mandel, I'm able to bring information from the outside in to the reflexors. So you send the color light mm -hmm. onto the forehead, which affects the various organs and yes. spots that yes. you're finding in the eye. Yes. Okay. So it was perfect like synergy for me. Uh, finally, I can do something extra, not just give the food as my medicine mm -hmm. or herbs. It gives just another tiny little trigger for that. So each color has its own healing powers. Mm -hmm. I don't know about chakras, right? Mm -hmm. Chakras, lights, each one has its own healing power. Like red is uh, the rooted the root. chakra, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then we have yellow or is always the stomach, right. correct? Mm -hmm. So it's the same for lots philosophy with the color puncture that we take now, the healing power of each vibration of its color. Mm -hmm. So, and then we can help the person. So, most likely with the endocrine system, which is like thyroid weakness mm -hmm. or adrenal fatigue, which is very common nowadays in the world we live in, right? Mm -hmm. We don't get enough sleep, we drink too much coffee, our brain waves are off, <laughs> children are home for schooling, <laughs> just by the way. <laughs> All the stress. <laughs> so, I use then the, the orange color most likely to balance the endocrine system. Mm -hmm. Because orange is about producing more serotonin, it gives you more creativity. Oh. And have you ever seen orange, right? Yes, this really bright, sunrise, sunshine, yes. like a sunset. We were talking earlier. Mm -hmm. Like I was saying, like when you're really stressed out, and then you are on the beach, and suddenly it becomes sunset. Every from pauses. Like I sometimes watch the people watching the sunset just because I'm interested how they react. <laughs> it's very relaxing. And very you see calming. how everybody was just like 
exhaling, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and it's just like gazing into this ocean out to the sunset, and you're just like, wow. That's, that's the moment of calmness where you lower your frequency, your vibration into peaceful vibration. Uh -huh, and so that's exactly what I do um, with my healing. So, and it's um, great to know, like, even with people painting their bedrooms, what color yes. to paint to help you sleep or what color in the kitchen to help you cook. And, exactly. Yeah. So that's why it's so important that you have specific colors for your mm -hmm. specific moods. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, nowadays, we keep everything more gray or white because for the fashion of the interior design. Our office buildings, very drab, <laughs> not much sunlight, not much windows. Right. Yeah, dark. And exactly. And so um, even color, it's so funny today when I came to the show, I was thinking, what color should I wear? But then I'm like, OK, I can <laughs> take big patterns, right? So I was like, I was choosing my blue um, earrings today uh -huh. because blue is calming and relaxing. Mm -hmm. And when you come to show, you are a little bit nervous. <laughs> right? So I thought, like, maybe that would work for me. <laughs> I didn't come with red or anything. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. And this is exactly what I wanted to show now to the uh, audience. Um, here's just an information of my um, urology map on top of the shadow eyes. Mm -hmm. And then you can see there's orange points all the way on top where it's 12 o'clock and then the blue lights. And those are the association of the hypothalamus, mm -hmm. the pineal, pineal gland, and then the blue ones are the thyroid. And when you go lower down, it's our reproductive system and also the gallbladder. And those are all part of a system that needs to calm down, right? Because gallbladder is associated with the emotion of anger mm -hmm. and bitterness. And I, don't, I think I have a share of that right now. <laughs> <laughs> right? Especially in traffic <laughs> or stress. Exactly. So that's why I wanted to show that um, physically, it can actually boost your energy in the lungs, stomach, stimulation late thyroid, growth of bones, just by wearing something orange. So it's not only that I need that you need to call me, which I like if you call me for my therapy, but sometimes a therapy is just getting an orange scarf around that can change it. It's interesting you mentioned that. They say fashion follows the health of the planet. So when women start putting black lipstick on, sometimes stagnation of mm. blood like in the intestines or wearing, you know, certain colors, certain trends. Blue is very popular. Yeah. You know, a calming color, especially See, now. Yes. <laughs> Especially now during the pandemic and the voting, you know, hype and things like that. So you can see it as a trend in fashion mm -hmm. and also a trend in colors to paint your yes. house. And yes. Yeah. Yes. It was so funny. My mother was like painting the house. And in Europe, our houses are very colorful painted, very colorful. Mm -hmm. Right. So she sent me a picture and it was bright green. <laughs> so I was first like, whoa. <laughs> right? But then I realized green is all about nature and, and, and feeling healthy and well. And I'm like, well, no wonder my mom felt like she needed to paint her house bright green. Yeah, it's the right. heart too, the heart yeah. chakra. And that's why I wanted to uh, also talk about the blue, like blue is relaxing as I was saying with my earrings, but there's also when children get very hyped up, they mm -hmm. can't focus with the homework, especially now that we moms are teachers at home <laughs> online. There's been a research found out that when you put a light a blue light bulb into the light of the desk and then you have your children make their homework with blue light, they can calm down more it's and very focus relaxing. more. Mm -hmm. We used to paint our offices pink yeah. counselors and they said in the prisons they do that because it's more, um, it, it takes the anger, you yeah. know, the angst out of kids when they're upset. Didn't Waldorf schools change mm -hmm. their classrooms too in specific paintings colors. of colors? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's exactly that what I was trying to incorporate into my therapies nowadays. And that's why I brought that information. And the way I do it is always a big question, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> so what I have is here, uh, I have specific color pen that has a precise crystal pyramid on top. So the light breaks correctly. And then uh, you get the orange light now. I don't know if you can see that. And for example, we're talking about gallbladder mm -hmm. is more my weakness as well. Mm -hmm. So the gallbladder meridian point is right here. So then I would just like, instead of needles, put the crystal right on top 
for like 20 seconds and let the light travel into the gallbladder meridian. This is nice for people who are a little afraid of needles and, you know, with mm -hmm. kids, they're mm -hmm. a little sensitive to using acupuncture. So exactly. a little bit easier to yeah. take in as a therapy. And even fun, like there's, for example, that one thing above is here, the hypothalamus. So you can put that on it and it immediately calms you down. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So that's actually your third eye. Yep. Right? And then sometimes when my children come home from school and they're all hyped up and there's my little trick that I do because <laughs> my color punctures, I have them go sit down and I'm like, <laughs> I give them the neurasthenic line, which is like, just goes from the middle of the pupil to the next pupil and you just stroke it gently. Oh, how relaxing. Exactly. And so uh, every once in a while when I showed that, then her friends wanted to have treatment <laughs> as well. <laughs> to start out, everybody come over. All Especially as teenagers, you know, there's so much going on. I'm like, you need my neurasthenic line. <laughs> so this is how I do it with the points. Another way of uh, working with sound mm -hmm. is that we put the brain waves now on the points. So then we have the synapsis machine. And that goes for the program of alpha, beta, delta, theta. Mm -hmm. And then instead of just putting the orange light on, then I can put the the uh, delta or theta brain wave on the third eye or hypothalamus. And that also reacts, the whole vibration becomes karma. So is it music that's coming through there or just sound? It's, you know, music is a, a sound wave, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. that's been um, measured and calculated. Mm -hmm. And then the vibration is mimicking whatever sound that would have been. Okay. So, so it's the brain waves. Vibration. Yes. And just Such recently, there's so many new tools coming out because because we realize that we need to calm down, but we just don't know how to get into meditation that quickly, right? Mm -hmm. And so this is almost like a little bit the shortcut. <laughs> to help you relax. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Birgit, how do people reach you if they want a private session, if they want some iridology um, eye map reading, or mm -hmm. they want some color therapy or sound therapy? How do people get in touch with you? So usually uh, my, I have my business called birgitcare.com. So um, right now, uh, my iridology readings can be internationally mm -hmm. because uh, people's pictures from their eyes can be taken with their phones, mm -hmm. which is amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, color puncture, I'm located in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. outside in the suburb of Philadelphia, so go check it out on my website, mm -hmm. beautycare.com. Mm -hmm. And if you're interested to study it, either iridology or color puncture. And you have a wonderful school. A lot yes. of my friends have gone through the school, and it's Thank just you. so precise and they come out with so many credentials to Thank actually you. perform what yeah. you're doing, mm -hmm. which is wonderful. Yeah, so if you're interested for this kind of therapies, then in, the information is on centerforiridology.com mm -hmm. because I'm um, a um, believer that the more we teach each other, the more we can help each other, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Thank you so much. And we wanted mm -hmm. to just show your award. You just got the Burger Care Wellness Program, Best of 2020 in Paoli. Yeah. Um, it's actually like an Oscar award. Yeah. I can't even lift <laughs> and it up. Since the Amy came on yesterday, I was like, <laughs> maybe I'll bring this. Yes, <laughs> congratulations. So, this was really like, I, I've, Usually when you're a small business, you, you, you're really trying to go against the stream. And mm -hmm. so you work on your own and you just go along. And when you suddenly get some sort of a word out of nowhere, it feels really great. Congratulations. Thank you. It's and, well earned. And this one uh, I've gotten for three years now. So I even got into the book of, of, of the Business Hall of Fame. So That's that made so me great. really excited. So every once in a while you realize by staying on your track and on your belief, mm -hmm. what you love to teach to others or to help others, yes. it comes so back. So many people are getting help by you. Well, thanks again. Thank and we look forward to keep having you on the show because yeah. you're such a wealth of information. <laughs> And we learned so much about color and healing and sound and iridology. So thanks for coming on the show. And join us next time for another edition of Macro Magic. Thank you. <laughs>